एक चक्र वाइब्रेट्स एट इट्स ओन वाइब्रेशनल फ्रीक्वेंसी हर चक्र की एक नेचुरल वाइब्रेशन फ्रीक्वेंसी है जिस पे वो वाइब्रेट करता है और जब कोई चक्र अपनी नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी पे रहता है तो वो बैलेंस्ड रहता है बट बिकॉज ऑफ ऑल आर रॉन्ग डीड्स रॉन्ग कर्मास ओवर दिस लाइफ पास्ट लाइफ मैनी मैनी लाइफ दैट वी हैव टेकन दीज कर्मास आर ऑल डिपॉजिटेड एंड बिकॉज ऑफ विच आर चक्रा has shifted from its natural vibration frequency to some other frequency and because of this shift now it is not vibrating the way it should vibrate it and thus it is not able to absorb the power from the divine source and when the chakras do not absorb the divine energies it is naturally not able to transmit this energies through the nadis to different parts of the bodies our physical body our etheric body our mental body our knowledge body anamay kosh pranamay kosh manomay kosh yanmay kosh anandmay kosh ye saro kosho mein hamare jo uh, energies hai wo flow nahi kar pati hai aur iske karan kya hota hai hum physically mentally emotionally spiritually diseased ho jate hain so it is mandatory for us to ensure that our chakras are all balanced and how to balance them simple by shifting the chakras back to its natural vibrational frequency now there are lot of simple ways and techniques of shifting the chakras to its natural vibration frequency each chakra as we know has got its color there are seven chakras and all the chakras have different colors and it resembles the card the seven colors of the rainbow vip gyor v stands for violet so our sahasrar is violet i indigo our agya is indigo color b blue our vishuddhi is blue in color g green anahat is green uh, y yellow our manipur is yellow o is orange the color swadishtan and last but not the least the lowest frequency is the frequency of our muladhar chakra that is red in color so these are the seven colors of our seven chakras and when we visually during meditation when we visually project these colors on our chakras then our chakras also start vibrating at these frequencies because the natural frequency of the chakra is similar to the frequency of the colors they possess similar to colors the next uh, way of balancing the chakra is through sound each chakra has got its own sound frequency which is depicted in the form of beej mantras of those those chakras like muladhar has got the sound frequency of lam swadishtan is vam manipur is ram anahat is yam vishuddhi is ham agya is om sahasra ragen is om so when we chant these beej mantras our chakra respective chakras start vibrating at their natural frequency third very simple technique is each chakra is connected with some tatva or element like muladhar is connected with prithvi tatva swadishtan is connected with jal tatva water element uh, manipur is connected with fire tatva agni, uh, agni tatva that is fire element anahat is connected with vayu tatva air vishuddhi is connected with akash tatva ether agya is connected with light that is the power of the guru and sahasrar is connected with the divinity the param tatva so when we start spending time physically or through meditation with these tatvas like for example if we want to strengthen our muladhar then start spending lot of time with the earth element you can start planting trees you can like you know play in the sand walk on the grass you can do lot of activities help soil to remain fertile like you know you can do lot of activities with the earth element similarly for water element spend time with water drink the adequate amount of water per day like you know when you do these kind of things connect yourself with those tatvas then your uh, chakras also start getting balanced similarly 
Each chakra is again connected with various planets. Like Muladhar is connected with uh, Shani, the Saturn. Uh, Swadishtan is connected with Shukra, Venus. Manipur is connected with Mars, Mangal. So all the seven chakras are connected with seven different planets. So when the chakra starts getting balanced, the planetary positions and the influence on our lives also starts improving. So if you focus on your chakra balancing, then uh, you won't be required to wear a lot of stones, wear a lot of rings and spend so much of money that you spend after the astrologers to ensure that your planetary positions are favorable and they work according to your requirements. So chakra balancing is one stop shop for everything. Now comes the my most favorite method of balancing chakras that is through relationship. Each chakra is connected to some form of relationship. So when you start healing the chakras, the relationship gets healed. When you start improving the relationship, your chakras automatically starts getting healed. So it's vice versa. It works both ways. Like your Muladhar chakra is connected to all those people who are dependent upon you, your subordinates, your staff, your juniors, the elderly at home, the kids at home. So all the people whose life totally depend upon your decisions, upon you, they reside in your Muladhar Chakra. So if you start giving unconditional love to them, care for them genuinely, start focusing on their growth, even your Muladhar starts getting strengthened. Similarly, Swadishtan is connected with your spouse. So if you start having a good, compatible, very healthy, free-flowing relationship, a loving relationship with your spouse, your uh, Swadishtan gets healed. So similarly, all the seven chakras are connected with some form of relationship. So when chakras are healed, the relationship are healed and vice versa. This is to very, very honest this is my most favorite method because uh, uh, it corrects everything in our life because most of, most of the problems that we face in our life is because of relationship and if the relationship becomes good then everything becomes good and then uh, through yoga through pranayam through mudras we can actually balance our chakras because different parts of the body different ways of breathing techniques different ways of like you know doing the mudras uh, have connection with the respective chakras and when we do these kind of uh, yoga pranayam mudras etc then we start balancing chakras in a favorable way so these are very simple techniques otherwise there are a lot of other techniques people say that you can apply like you know uh, you can use aromatherapy you can use essential oils you can wear a lot of stones so a lot of things uh, externally can also be done to support your chakras but like you know the techniques that i shared with you i find them uh, absolutely like you know free of cost and in turn they are like if you're doing yoga you're doing pranayam it is uh, improving your health if you're working on relationship it is helping the relationship around you if you are like you know, taking care of elements then you are taking care of the nature around you if you are like you know working on sounds working on like colors then it is then it is helping in your meditation so these methods that i've shared with you like you know really help not just in balancing chakras but they affect your life in multiple ways in multi like you know dimensional multi-directional like in you know, a lot of different ways these help in uh, improving your life in and making it in much much better much better than you can even think of so what are you waiting for just start focusing on your chakras start focusing on all these methods that i've just shared and see the magic unfolding in your life